Well hey what's up you guys and welcome back to another Planet Zoo mod making video. My name is Leaf and as always it's so great to have you guys here, especially for our good friend right here. So all my animal nerds in the like in the chat right now, I guess, watching at home, you guys already know what this is. This is the legendary Vervet Monkey. And the Vervet Monkey is easily one of my favorites. It's probably right up there, right next to the Diana monkeys and like the uh snub nosed. But these guys are so freaking beautiful. So we're actually making one right now. Uh, obviously, that's why you click on the video. And I do apologize, I haven't done one of these mod making videos since I think it might even be the Mongoose Lemur, which I do apologize. That one still isn't out yet. Please don't kill me for that. But no, I do apologize for that one not being out. It's an issue with the tools right now. So once Hendrix and Harlequin's Ego actually get that figured out, I will have all the rest of the lemurs ready for you guys. The entire lemur pack will come out all at once once that actually does happen. But for the time being, they are sitting in limbo. I do apologize. But in the meantime, we got to work on a pretty cool monkey species. So if you guys excuse me one more time because my, like, my charger is all the way down here. And once again, this is like my, like, fifth time restarting the video and I don't want to restart it again. So you guys are with me all the way. But yes, so we are actually basing this monkey off of the Red Shank Duke, which was originally made by Monsoon. He is a wonderful up and coming modder. Not really up and coming, he was huge back in the Zoo Tycoon days. And I'm so happy he's finally bringing his style to Planet Zoo because it fits this game so much better. But still, big ups, big respect to all the Zoo Tycoon modders way back in the day. I dabbled with a little bit of it back in the day, but still nowhere as good as like, you know, artifacts or war designs really were but still very amazing nonetheless. So we are making the vervet monkey off of that. Now let's talk about the vervet monkey for a little bit. They're such a very interesting monkey. They spend probably most of their life arborally. They always spend it up in the trees. That's what that means. So they're very, they're your classic African monkey. They're kind of found like Botswana, South Africa, Kenya, and sort of like that whole Eastern Africa area. They're not really like the, um, Congo monkeys that we've seen within the release of the Africa pack. They are a very much different um, and they come from a whole different side of the globe. <laughs> Not globe, but the continent. And you can see my entire modding process throughout this entire video. I am not doing that just for the sake of extending runtime, but no, I, I actually do want to show you guys how tedious it can be to get these minor details to look good. And it takes a lot to actually iron out the kinks when you're working on a project like this. Because when you're making like, you know, let's just say the vervet monkey, for example, you really need to make sure it looks good in game because it may look okay in Blender, but the proof is in the pudding. And by the pudding, I mean the planet. And by the planet, I mean the planet zoo. So once you actually see how it looks in game, that's how it looks like for real. So you can see me constantly loading in and out, in and out of planet zoo and I constantly put the monkey down and then I exit out of the game once I get like a good idea of what I need to do next. And you can see I constantly keep on going at it. I keep on changing stuff up. Uh, particularly for the Burbit monkey, they have a little bit of a brown patch on their head. You can see me fill that in right now. And it's just very iconic for them. They are, well, what else can we say about them? They're omnivores. So they eat both plants and meat. They have very specialized diets for where they live. They're very much opportunists in that regard. Uh, omnivores are probably like probably most based animal out there because they can eat anything and they will eat anything. <laughs> um, vervet monkeys might even eat you if you're um, not treating them nice enough. They also live in huge troops too. So they live upwards of like 50 individuals in a single troop. And it's just really cool to see. I don't know. I just really love primates in that regard because they do have like this really, really dynamic social structure that we don't really see in like humans nowadays. I mean, granted, we've evolved, we've evolved for like, you know, a millennia. We've kind of like changed our own social structures. Like, look at me. I don't have a social life. I'm kidding, of course, but um, uh, no, it's just really cool just to see like the dynamics between like primates and humans and stuff like that. Where am I going with this? This is getting like really meta. Let's talk about the vervets. So they do have these beautiful black faces and black hands and like black skin. It's just really cool just to see like how 
beautiful these monkeys can really be and how dynamic the monkeys can be all across like the entire continent of Africa. You guys may have already been playing with the Africa pack thus far, this will be included with that, but I will be including a link to the vervet monkey right in the description down below as a little bit of a timed exclusive, so you guys will be able to get the video, well not, you'll be able to get the mod directly from the video itself, and then after that it will be public for everyone else to have and will be included in the safari pack later this week. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of treat and a little bit of reward for, you know, watching this, watching this with me. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys sticking along with me for, like, this entire ride. I do apologize for this Sunday. I didn't have a mod showcase. That was a little bit of a hiccup on my part, but I really didn't, you know, we didn't really have much in regards to that. But, hey, it's all good. We can look by that. But yeah, you can see me really start to focus a lot more on the tiny details in this, getting like all those imperfections in the skin perfect, and just essentially making this a pretty damn good looking monkey. And I think this is probably the second to last time we actually load into Planet Zoo. I think we actually know this very well may be the last time, and I'll actually show you guys my photo process. So a lot of the times I like to set up these tiny little um, stages. Uh, you may even be inclined to call them dioramas, but um, no, I like to really set up the stage for these monkeys pretty well and all my mods really and just get these perfect shots looking pretty nice. So I try to make it look like, you know, he's on the treetops on top of like a nice big acacia tree that's been poking out of the sky a little bit. Um, and just the whole point of this is like a waiting game just to get them to do like the right stuff. And eventually I kind of just say, screw it, they're going to be on the ground. <laughs> So that's kind of like something that I resort to pretty often. It's just like, I don't have time to wait. Also, you may notice that the cardboard box that the animals come in, it doesn't have any confetti anymore. And you can see me use Ansel right here to get that like perfect shot. Um, but yeah, you can notice I got rid of the confetti. So I believe I will be working with my good friend Jorno to include that in Planet Zoo Plus. So if you guys have like any intention to get rid of the confetti, it will be in there for you. So that'll be really good to have because the confetti is so gross looking. I'm sorry, Frontier. But yeah, I usually take a couple photos in the same area and then I take a few when I actually do make the mod itself, like do all the coding for it. But you guys can see just how amazing this monkey really is. I don't know, I'm just a really big fan of it. But enjoy the real-time footage. Take my b-roll, why not? Take it with all of you guys. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. I do hope you guys enjoy this little monkey. Show me all your exhibits, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take care, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye now.